Beyond God like well, that's new. How's it going everyone? Dave Top Gaming here and welcome to the test server. Today we will be testing different Scorpion setups. As there's no doubt in my mind this will be the newest Metabot as soon as they release it because it's extremely overpowered which is what Pixonic does. So as you can see by the marks on the bottom each one of them has two overdrives and one last stand. Now the different setups of course are Cryo Rhyme, Atomizer Quaker, uh, Storm Gust, Igniter Blaze, and Scourge Spark <coughs> which I believe will be the different setups that people try uh, the five most popular setups I also considered trying the uh, Corona Halo but they nerfed those so badly that not even nobody's even using them. I mean the storms are better and the you know the storms and the gusts are so much better um, I also think that the uh, aphid uh, vortex might even work if you've used aphid and vortex up close you can actually get a pretty big burst of damage uh, up close to an enemy or behind cover. And uh, as you can see, these bots right here have 115,000 health at level 8, which is pretty low, 54 KMH, which is actually pretty quick. But as you can see, none of the actual anything is fully decided yet. Damage reduction, uh, which in my opinion, it shouldn't have any damage reduction, but they're deciding on those numbers. Acceleration, which is extra speed you get while your ability is active. They have not decided on that number, which it really doesn't need that either. Uh, the teleportation ra range, in my opinion, should not be over 300 to 350 max. Uh, of course, they'll probably give it like a 5 600 range, knowing Pixonic. Uh, the built-in built weapons range, you're teleporting right behind your enemy. It needs, doesn't even need to be 100 meters, honestly. Um, the duration should be no more than 5 seconds in my opinion right now. I think it's 10 to 15 seconds. Uh, and the cooldown uh, currently is very short, which I think it needs to be much longer uh, just to keep this bot somewhat in line and not just make everyone go out and fill their hangar with this, this bot and get rid of everything else and start all over again. Like we keep having to do every time they release something that's ridiculously overpowered and putting us back in the same position again. Now, of course, in this hangar, I do have a Arthur uh, with the 600 meter plasma weapons because on the test server, you can do whatever you want and everyone has a plasma mang on the freaking test server. So uh, I also put the acceleration accelerator module, which gives it an extra 10% speed at its current level. So let's drop into some battles here. Uh, probably just do a couple of them to show you exactly what these different setups do. I did put the Atomizer Quaker on there, and honestly, I'm, I'm not a fan of that weapon. Uh, I think the damage is is bad. It's not very good at all. Um, we'll just have to see. Now I can automatically see where this is going. Now the currently the, the ability range is 500 meters, which is way too long in my opinion. But uh, we're going to drop in here and. Uh, See what it does. Hey, there's a kill already. Boom. 1-1. One, one. Is that not overpowered? I find that pretty overpowered. Of course, I did death mark him too, so... Uh... Okay, he is now in an invader. We're going to wait for him to finish and drop where he wants to be. And we're going to go ahead and hit death mark right before I felt there. And we're going to teleport out. Now, this is long before my overdrive. So as you can see, the two little arrows on my health bar, which is my overdrive. Yeah, see, this is extremely overpowered. I, I can stay in here behind cover this entire thing, entire time, and just teleport in there every time my ability goes off, kill somebody, and teleport out. And they have no choice. They have no chance.
Of course, we're going to immediately teleport out and find us a uh, next victim here. Now, I'm trying not to spend too much time in one bot because I do want to show you guys uh, what other bots do. Now my overdrive is up. So now I'm getting an extra 50% damage. Well, if I was maxed, I would be. This guy is, of course, a leech. Which I'm hoping this other guy will get him into the last stand. It's not looking uh, promising, though. There we go. See, see how overpowered that is? It's ridiculous, dude. Now it doesn't have much health, so I mean, you can uh, kill these things fairly easy. Beyond God, like, well, that's new. Okay, so the next bot I want to try, I really want to see if the is a, if this holds its lock on. It does not hold its lock on. Okay, so Scourge Spark is not an option. I mean, technically it is an option, but man, it's not a good option. <laughs> It does a lot of damage, but man, you gotta wait for that lock on. That that part is rough. Now I'm immediately going in because I wanna jump straight in there and see what kind of damage. This does. Okay, I'm immediately going to teleport out. It's good, but it's not that good. I think this will be the second best build in my opinion. Yes, yeah, so they had a pretty amazing build right there. Wow, I didn't teleport out for some reason. All right, so I'm gonna try and play this one a bit more defensive. You know, it's supposed to teleport me uh, behind him. Oh, the ability is not working. I think that's going to be the downfall of the scorpion is basically anything that's uh, that's tough. All right, so here we go. We have power plant domination. So uh, let's go ahead and start off with. Our uh, energy chain gun build. So immediately we're going to go over here and uh, okay, that's a blitz. Because the Aegis Shield just popped up. I'm going to grab this down here and then uh, hopefully I can teleport up there, attack him, and grab the other beacon in the process. Let's see what, what this thing does. Okay, I'm gonna die, but at this point I'm just trying to get some kills, get some people, players out of the way and uh, loosen the field a little bit. Now see, as you can see, the, 
the weapons just really aren't that great. I really don't like the atomizer energy chain gun weapons. They're not good at all, dude. I am not a fan. Okay, so if you're pushing forward, for some reason it doesn't want to uh, teleport out. in the system. <clears throat> now this bot can basically protect everything. I think the one thing it can't protect against is the Ravana. So leveling Ravana, I think, is still a pretty safe bet. Because <coughs> I really think the Ravana will uh, still be really good against this bot. Okay, I'm gonna get this beacon and I'm gonna teleport over here and see if I can't kill this guy. Now that I've unloaded, teleport out. <coughs> it's like the ultimate beacon stealer. Oh man, dealing with these bots is a pain in the ass. So this teleport system makes a, wow, it really makes these things overpower. Oh wow, and they're invisible. What the hell was that? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to drop this bot because uh, I'd like to test out of the bot. Which I cannot do if I spend too much time in that bot. I really think if you played it uh, carefully, you can probably make just about any bot last. For a very long time. Wow, a lot of people use inspectors. Well, see, I actually wouldn't be here right now, but uh, when I hit my teleport out ability, it didn't teleport out, so. Uh... Now, like I said, I did the smart thing. And so I can shoot the, uh, all the laser mings that everybody's going to spawn.
I'm just gonna stand here and shoot. I really wish they had the uh, scourge weapons, but they don't. Hey, look at all the mangs. <laughs> They're everywhere. Now, I don't necessarily worry about worry about losing my Arthur. I just want to get all the Mings off the beacons. And it's game over. So if you're looking to combat the 600 Mings, the 600 Arthur actually works really well. But I know this video is about the, uh, the Scorpion here. And so far, it really looks like the uh, Cryo Rhyme is probably my favorite. All right, we're gonna jump into the pilot section real quick. I just wanna show you a couple special abilities to the Scorpion that I have noticed. One is called the Thrill Seeker. You can see third from the top right there. Uh, Scorpion deals increased weapon damage, but its durability is lowered by 5%. And then you have Scout, which is Scorpion has increased speed, but its durability is lowered by 5%. Both increase 5%, one to damage, one to speed. Now, of course, you can stack the other damage and speed abilities on top of these. You can also add the uh, defense as you can see, Armor Expert, second from the top. Scorpion has increased durability 15%. So with these three abilities, you have plus 5% speed, plus 5% damage, and plus 5% armor by using these three abilities here. That I wouldn't see why anyone wouldn't have all three of those on their Scorpion if you're going to have one. So let me go ahead and jump out of here. Let me know in the comments what you think is the best build. I personally think it's going to be between the Storm Gust and the Cryo Rhyme are going to be some of the best builds third i would put the uh igniter blaze but you guys let me know what you think is going to be the best and what you plan to run if you get this bot in the future when it comes to the live server thanks for watching everyone don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button and let me know what kind of videos you want to see and i will make those videos for you guys i appreciate you watching i'll see you on the next one